You know, it's an interesting question. Many Christians say, hey, I want to keep all the commandments of God. Those who love God keep his commandments. That's New Testament as well. What about the dietary laws? God must have given them to Israel for good reason. Why don't we keep them today? Hey, you're absolutely free to keep them. You're 100% free to keep the dietary laws. The question is, must you, in particular, as a Gentile believer, must you? The answer to that is no. Let me explain. Let me explain. When you go back into the Old Testament, you do see that God tells Noah to take animals that are clean and that are not clean. It doesn't use the exact same terminology we have in Leviticus 11 or Deuteronomy 14 about clean and unclean in Hebrew. It's slightly different. It's clean and not clean. But that may simply mean bringing them onto the ark that some were acceptable for sacrifice and some were not. That can be debated. What we do know is that in Genesis 9, God says every living thing, every, every earthly creature, you can eat. So he did not establish dietary laws at the foundation there in Genesis 9 after the flood. And then when he gave the dietary laws to Israel in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14, he never said they were for all the nations. No, like I, I live, my own eating habits, I live by them, but that's, that's not the issue, whether it's good or bad or healthy or not. Simply that God didn't give them to all the nations. You never see in the Old Testament where God ever judges a foreign nation for not keeping the dietary laws, whereas he does judge them for their sins against one another, for breaking covenants and acts of inhumanity and things like that. When we get into the New Testament, some would say Jesus explicitly said the dietary laws don't apply. For example, in Mark 7, 19, when he's, after his teaching that what you eat does not defile you, some translations say, thus, the end of Mark 7, 19, thus purging or cleansing all meats. But other translations say that after it passes out of your system, it is eliminated. Here's what we do know. Here's what we do know. The disciples didn't go out after Jesus taught that and started eating pork. We know that, right? Because by Acts 10, Peter says, I haven't eaten anything unclean all my life. You say, yeah, but there it is in Acts the 10th chapter that God tells Peter to kill and eat all kinds of unclean foods. Yeah, but the application of that was God was just saying that the Gentiles were not acceptable. We have no indication that Peter is a lifestyle, then went out and started eating pork or ordered pepperoni pizza from the local pizza delivery probably didn't have local pizza delivery there. But that's, that's another subject. The question is, does the New Testament anywhere say that Gentile believers are required to keep all the dietary laws? The answer is no. Does the New Testament indicate the spiritual principle that what you eat doesn't defile you? Yes. Does Paul make clear in 1 Corinthians 8 and Romans 14 that even eating food sacrificed to idols, which was forbidden for many reasons, that that in and of itself does not defile you? Yes, he makes that point clear. So, so the point is very simply this. There is nowhere in the New Testament where the dietary laws are given as mandatory for all believers nowhere. And we are not under the Sinai covenant. We are under a new and better covenant. If you want to live by the dietary laws, great. If you say God must have given them for a good reason, great. If you say we have a lot of scientific verification that a lot of the foods they couldn't eat are unhealthy, great. Just don't say it is mandatory. You say, but in Acts, the 15th chapter, the, the, the apostle said that the Gentiles will get it after a while, you know, because they're in the synagogue and they're hearing this being taught. No, no, there, there are many different ways to interpret that. What, what he could have well been saying was, listen, and Jacob James could have well been saying was this, we know they've heard a lot of foundations for years, those who've been in the synagogue, so they'll catch on to these basics. Nowhere does it say they will get the rest and live by the rest. Let me repeat, there's not a single verse anywhere in the New Testament that says the dietary laws are mandatory for all believers, including Gentile believers, not a syllable.